Hi, here's Shimon Bochniak from Microsoft 365 at work. Let's install ready to use adoption bot in Microsoft Teams. Today I want to share with you the way how to build fully functional bot in your Microsoft Teams which will help you to address adoption, especially support of the users will have any questions around adoption process of Microsoft Teams. You can ask me how it could be possible without huge development work. Thanks to the changes in the licensing Microsoft offers right now possibility to use Power Virtual Agents in Teams, which are totally free and moreover, community around Microsoft prepared their ready to use bot that you can deploy with the knowledge behind that can be shared with the Office 365 users in your organization. This process will took around 10, maybe 15 minutes on your site and you can execute the bot that will work in your environment and can be addressing all questions that people in your company will have around Teams. Super exciting solution. I highly recommend to deploy it in your environment, play with it, learn how that kind of bots could be adapted. You can take this bot and change the knowledge behind them to your other applications rather than Microsoft Teams. So you can see there is great potential here to start to work with bots in Microsoft 365 environment. If you would like to get news around new solutions that you can deploy in your Office 365 or learn about cool functionalities which are present there. Please subscribe the channel. If you like the video, left the thumbs up. Thanks to that you will support me and on the other hand, you will be notified about all new videos I will share with you. So let's deploy the first bot in your Microsoft Teams environment. You can download Microsoft Teams Adoption Bot directly from GitHub totally for free. The solution is provided by the community around Microsoft Office 365, which developed the solution and shared with the rest of the Office 365 users. And before we will move forward, one short comment. In the description of the video, you will find all necessary links which you need to visit to get the application and additional elements that could help you. You will also found there the timestamps. So if you would like to see how the application looks like and work before configuring it, just go there timestamp for the part where I presenting the app itself. On GitHub, the only thing you have to do is to just download the application. When you will download the zip package, then you will use it on Microsoft Teams to deploy it. The application itself is based on Teams and especially Power Virtual Agents for Microsoft Teams, which are mostly free if you have one of the most common Office 365 subscription. If you're working on the business license or enterprise license, this is something which is covered. You don't need to bought any additional license for you. So this is super fun, totally free application. The only thing you have to do is to deploy it and you can get the bot working on your Microsoft Teams. So let's download the package. And in the next steps, we will move forward to configure it and set up on your Microsoft Teams tenant. The next steps of deployment of Teams adoption bot will happen in Microsoft Teams. The first step will be to create the space when, where all feedback will be gathered from the bot. You can create from scratch the new team when you will store the data or choose the existing one like champions team which is already created. You will need to add there two additional channels. The first channel will be feedback from the users and the second ask the expert requests which users of the bot will be able to share with you. After you will create the channels, you can start the deployment process of the Teams bot on your environment. To do that, go to apps and search for power apps. You will need to create and add the power apps there. To do that, you will need to create the dummy application using Power Apps. So click Start Now, select the team which you will use for the Champions community and create the dummy application. Creation process of the new application could take one or two minutes, so don't be worried about that. 
and put any name like champions up here. Save it. And that's everything we need to do from perspective of Power Ups itself. Now we will need to introduce the Power Virtual Agents to Microsoft Teams. To do that, go to the home button on the top navigation. You will see here your champions app deployed and select see more button. You will be moved to your space dedicated for the champions team created in Teams and again select see all button to go a little deeper. In the new screen, select import button thanks to that we will be able to import the application downloaded from the GitHub and browse for adoption bot downloaded from there. Select the, the zip package and open it. And open it using next button. You will see that you importing two flows, one for getting the feedback from bot users and one to send the request for the experts through the bot and the bot itself. You will need to connect to Teams and Office 365 through existing connection or create the new one. Creation of the connection will require your authentications. As soon you will do that, just refresh the screen and you will see the connections available here. Bot will use that to get the data around Microsoft Teams and user data. Import the package. In general, it is recommended to use some kind of service account for the flows, but if you doesn't have that account, you can use your own. But remember, it's better from best practice perspective to use dedicated accounts that will host the flows to be sure that, you know, if you will block your password, it will not block your application. Import of the package could take a while, so don't be worried about it. As soon the application will be imported, you will see the color of the notification bar will change to green one and we can go to adapt the application to your local environment. We will start from the cloud flows, which you need to set for your channels created in the champions team. So edit both of them and select proper team and channel, which you want to use to public the data. As soon the both values will be updated, you can save it and do the same thing with the second Microsoft Flow. Save it and our Power Automate processes are updated and ready to use. Now we will need to adapt our bot to brand it a little for our organization. Again, go back and select the chatbots and go inside the chatbot and add Power Virtual Agents to your Microsoft Teams. As soon as you will add Power Virtual Agents to Microsoft Teams, then you will be able to edit the chatbot itself. So you can see this is bot application that is local. You can change the way how it works. You can adapt it. So play with it. This is a really great starting point if you would like to build more bots in your Microsoft Teams. We can reuse it and use presented in video method to multiply that kind of bot across the organization for the different purposes. To do that, go to Manage and Details, change the name and icon of the bot. As you will do that, save your changes and we will need to publish the bot and this will be the most technical part of this deployment process. So please focus about that. There will be few more technical steps which will require a little careful behavior from your side. So go to Publish and select Share a bot, Submit for admin approval in the new screen, select Download the Manifest. In the downloads, you will find the application downloaded from your Teams. Extract it to the folder. In this case, you will need to edit manifest.json file. It's good to have Notepad++ to do that. If you doesn't have, you can install this application for free on your PC and edit this file. In the next step, you will need to change the bot ID to the one from the video description and save the file. You can see the new ID is here, save the file and you will need to save the whole package once again using 7-zip or other archiving tool. As soon you will create the updated version of the manifest, you need to create the new app package. To do that, select all files and create the archive using 7-zip or any other tool. The new app package will be created. Remember that you cannot use the folder on top of that. You need to create the archive using just the files which are presented in here. 
Now, when your application is ready, we need to upload it to Teams Administration Center to share it with the other users in the organization. So go to the Teams apps and Manage apps when you will be there. And in the list of applications that are available for all users, select Upload and select the file we did create a minute ago. Select the package which is zip archive and open it. Application will be uploaded to the, to the system and you will be able to publish it to all users. Found it on the list and allow it. Now you will be able to add this application in your Microsoft Teams for all users and use chatbot in your Microsoft Teams organization. In your Microsoft Teams, go to Apps and look for application built for your organization. If you would like to add the bot to your organization in Microsoft Teams, select it and just add it as a bot working on your organization. When the bot finally will be published on your Microsoft Teams, you can find the bot using the icon or the name and you can start to use it by putting the questions there or using the ask the expert or give the feedback functionalities which are present already in here. When you will put the question in the bot window, you can find the possible answers that will bot suggest for you, like how do I share files in Microsoft Teams and you will get clear feedback how to do that with the linked description to the articles on the Microsoft site. So you can see this is very flexible, very easy way to, to use the Teams. A few more examples that I will show you here. If you will put the question that bot will do not understand, you can select yes, help me, my little friend bot. And then you can send the feedback to the, to the creators of the bot or ask an expert. And thankfully, you will get the request that will easily give you possibility to get back to the user. In this case, you can see that we send the request for help for the adoption team. And if you will go back to the channel we did created, you will see that the Microsoft Flow will create the request and you can easily navigate to the chat with the person directly from this place. This is super easy solution to get in direct contact with the people that are looking for the help around Microsoft Teams using automated process around bot without any coding. One more element which is worth to know how it works is if you will go to the Power Virtual Agents, there is a space that you can configure or totally change the way how this bot works. Go to Chatbots and there you will find your chatbot. In the addition of this chatbot, you will be able to see how the knowledge behind the chatbot is managed in topics you will find all the questions that are possible to rise for Microsoft Teams bot, which helps in adoption. And you will see where the data behind the knowledge is stored. You can see this is the Word file hosted on Azure, fully transparent for everyone. And what is more in English, but what is great about this bot, you can switch it to other languages totally for free. In the description of the video, you will find the link where you can switch the language to another one. All data is prepared for free by Microsoft community, so you can use it as you wish. And moreover, if you would like to extend the way how the bot works, you can add the new topics here and extend the knowledge behind it by editing the Word document. You can see this is not something that is technically challenging. I encourage you to play with it, to change, maybe adapt this bot to other applications, not only for Microsoft Teams. This is a really great place to start working with bots in Microsoft Teams. As you can see, deployment of Microsoft Teams bot is a little more complicated than deployment of other adoption solutions in Microsoft Teams or in SharePoint, but still value behind it is really great. And it is also the great starting point if you're thinking about using bots in general in your organization. Deployment or license-free 
Microsoft 365 bot in Microsoft Teams is super efficient way to support your users. I highly recommend you to do that, play with it and start to build your own bots or just reuse existing one templates like these ones. If you would like to get more videos like that, more advanced solutions, check the channel. For now, see you in next video.